Franklin runs away. Franklin could count by twos and tie his shoes. He had a mom and a dad who loved him, and he had some best friends, too. And special feelings like that never change. But one day, Franklin wasn't so sure about that. And then Mama Bear said, Someone's been eating my porridge! <laughs> <laughs> and then Baby Bear saw that his bowl was empty, and he began to cry. I'd be glad if someone ate my bowl of porridge. And I'd be glad if someone ate my thimble of porridge. <laughs> Franklin, Snail, it's not talking time, it's listening time. Get it, Franklin! I got it! We've got a clear shot! Look up, Franklin. Fox is sneaking up on us. Beaver is too. Hold it! Stop the game! That doesn't count, Franklin. You guys aren't playing fair. What do you mean? Snail always tells you when I'm coming. Yeah. You can see what's going on behind you. None of us can do that. That's right. You guys have to play fair and not play at all. <laughs> Fine, then. We won't play at all. Let's go somewhere else, Snail. Yeah, they don't want us to play with them. <laughs> That's funny, Beaver. Yeah. Then what, Beaver? Yeah, keep going. And then Papa Bear said... This isn't talking time. It's listening time. <laughs> <laughs> remember when Mr. Owl said that to you guys? Yeah. Yeah, we remember. Hey. That looks like my library book. It is. You lent it to me last week. Remember? Yeah. And you said you'd take it back to the library. I will. I'm just not finished with it yet. What if I get an overdue notice? I don't want to get into trouble. Gee, Bear. Don't worry. I'll take it back. I can go with him. No, thanks. I'll do it myself. There's no snack on the table. Mom! I'm outside, Franklin. Mom, where are you? Right here. I was so busy painting, I didn't hear the bus. How was school today? Awful. Will you make me my snack now? <sighs> I'm almost done here. I'll make it when I'm finished. She always makes my snack as soon as I get off the bus. Why can't she finish painting later? Well, I'm hungry. Yeah, me too. I don't think I can wait for Mom. I'm going to make my own snack. Do you want to help me? Okay. about making a snack. We did it for you. Why didn't you wait for me? Look at the mess you've made. I can clean it up. I can help. Hmm. Maybe paper towels would work better. <sighs> no, Franklin. Just let me do it. You two take your sandwiches outside. Where are we going, 
Franklin? I don't know, but I'm not staying here. This is a really bad thing. Is it ever? It's like we can't do anything right. I know. It just isn't fair. Are we getting close to where we're going? I don't know. Where are we going? There's the tree fort path. Yeah, let's go there. No one gets mad at us around here. Yeah, I'm feeling better already. Me too. I don't want to go home or to school or to ride on that bus. This is where I want to stay. In the tree fort? Yeah. Don't you want to stay here too? I like it here and everything. It's just not the same as home. That's all. Who's going to make us supper or read us bedtime stories and tuck us in every night? Well, maybe our mom and dad would still come here for that. It takes my mom and dad all day to get to the mailbox. It'll take them forever to come here. Well, what if we went home at bedtime and came back here every morning? I guess we could do that, Franklin. But if we're not going to school anymore, what will we play with? And are we still going to have a cookie at snack time? Hmm. There's not much here, is there, Snail? Maybe we should go back to my house and get some things for our new place. Let's get some cookies first. Okay. Bear. Hi, Mrs. Turtle. It's Bear. Is Franklin home? He's not here right now. He's outside with Snail. Oh, will you please tell him that I'm sorry for getting mad on the bus and give him this book? I renewed it, so he has lots of time to look at it. Sure, I'll tell him that, Bear. What are they saying? Something about renewing the book. Why did he have to tell my mom? No, I'm really in for it. That was very thoughtful, Bear. And I'm sure he'll be happy to know you're not angry anymore. Bye. Goodbye. <gasps> what are you two doing? We're getting some things for the tree fort. Sorry, Franklin. It's too close to supper time and I don't want... Snail and I are going to live there. You're going to live in the tree fort? Nobody likes us, so we're going to live someplace else. Except when it's bedtime. Come on out. Let's talk about this. Now, what's all this about no one liking you? It was a really bad day, Mom. Everyone got mad at us. It started with Mr. Owl. Yeah. All we did was talk when it was listening time. I see. And who else doesn't like you? Fox and Beaver. And Bear. Franklin said he would take the book back to the library. Yeah, but Bear got mad anyway. Well, for someone who doesn't like you, it was nice of him to renew the book so you could finish it. Really? Yes, it's right over there. And he wanted to apologize for being angry with you on the bus. He really is my friend. Do you remember last week what happened when I forgot to bring your shin pads to soccer practice? Yeah, I got mad at you. Yes, you did. But you still liked me, didn't you? Of course, Mom. 
And even though you made a big mess in the kitchen, I still like you. It was the peanut butter and jam on the table, chairs, and floor that I didn't like. It was kind of sticky, wasn't it? <laughs> it was very sticky. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes things happen that make us angry. But it doesn't mean we don't love each other. And it doesn't mean we should go live in the tree fort. Your father and I would miss you if you went to live in the tree fort. Yeah, I'd miss you too. And your cookies. <laughs> How can I say no after a nice hug like that? Thanks, Mom. 